what is going on Taurus? it is scorpion reds i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you know what is going on mid april the 15th through the 30th yes indeed shout out to all my new subscribers what's up you guys what's up What's going on with you, all right? Um, if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab, all right? There's a hyperlink there for my booking as well as information for um, you to connect with me for the video chat. I only do video chats for my readings, okay? Um, if you select the add-on, there is a $10 add-on, and that is if you do not want to get face to face on camera that you have to purchase the reading first and then you pay an additional ten dollars for the add-on okay the the add-on is not a reading okay so if you purchase the add-on and you mistakenly don't um, purchase the reading um you definitely are going to have to go back and purchase the reading before we can connect okay um so First thing you need to do is go to Scorpion Reds at Simply Book Me. Click that link on the About tab. Purchase your reading and then go back and click the Instagram link so that we connect can connect on Instagram and or on um, Google Hangouts. And you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com so that we can link on the video connect on Google Hangouts. Again, either Google Hangouts or Instagram are the platforms that I use for the video readings. Okay, so I hope that that made sense. Book the reading, then ever choose Instagram or Google Hangouts for us to connect. If you do not want to connect face to face for that, then you need to pay an additional ten dollars for the add on, and you'll have a personal, private, direct link to a, a YouTube video upload. Okay, so. Um, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, you guys can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right. Um, if this video resonates and you want to give a love donation, you can feel free to do so. The link for my PayPal is in the about tab and it's also in the description of this video. Let's get into the reading because I was a lot. I have to find an easier way to explain that because I was too much. Hold on. Oh, the coffee. Yes. Oh, come on, coffee. Come on, coffee. Wow. Woo. Mmm, that's hot and delicious, honey. Yes, come on now, today. All right, let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much, Father God. I feel that sun just shining on my back. I know I'm feeling good, and I'm sure hoping that Taurus is feeling good as I'm feeling. Yes, and listen, y'all better get y'all some good coffee, get you something hot and warm and delicious, okay? Okay, this morning, Taurus. Anyway, listen to me, listen to me. Father God, thank you so much for uh, elevating us into our goddess and to our just emperor energies. Um, we have been really transmuting um, energies that, you know, possibly could have been negative in our life or that were negative in our life. We're transmuting that into positive energies and we have just been really elevating and growing and embracing our goddess and our empress energies in 2019. Father God, and we thank you so much for this growth and this illumination in our life. Father, like I said, the sun is shining on our back. It is kissing our skin, Father God. And we are so, so, so getting ready for the springtime as the buds of the flowers are starting to bloom and the bees and the trees are just starting to awaken. Father God, we are awakening. We are starting to feel so good on the inside and it's showing on the outside. And we thank you so much, Father God, for this illumination. Father, please give us guidance for mid-April the 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Father, thank you so much for walking with me, talking with me, for being my best friend. Even when I felt I was alone, you lifted up Arden. You lifted us by our chin and you looked us in our eyes and said, baby, mm-mm. We won't do this together and you good. And you know, we 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 just walking. <laughs> We are walking with a different spirit now, Father God. Thank you so much for the illumination. Thank you so much for touching us. Thank you so much for being with us, Father God. We thank you. Please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus for mid-April. Thank you again. All right, let's get into this. Hold on. Let me be greedy because I want some more coffee. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, coffee. Come on, coffee. Ooh. Mm. Lord, hold on. Why am I feeling like something is... Uh... Taurus, y'all got some real good and delicious that y'all be taking down in your inner spirit like that. Hold on. Because I'm feeling like 
feeling like Taurus is been feeling real good, honey. Y'all been getting into something real good. What y'all been getting into, Taurus? Come on now. Spirit, please give me. Okay, jump on out like that. Hope, like I told you. Hope. Come on, Taurus. You seen how that just hopped out like that? Oh, come on, Taurus. Come on, Taurus. Hope. This is how Taurus is feeling. I told y'all, Taurus is feeling good this morning because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, okay? All right? Baby, baby, I got that feeling. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, baby, I got that feeling. Come on and say, stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Come on, Taurus. We got that feeling. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, baby, we got that feeling. Come on, Taurus. Hey, on, sing it with me. Baby, baby, I got that feeling. Ah, ah. Baby, baby, come on, Taurus. Come on. Stay positive in the light, Taurus. I'm loving it. I am loving it. It says stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Father, we are looking up to that light. Thank you so much. I told y'all, like, that sun is just gleaming on our back. Y'all feel them? <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm feeling cold chills. I got chills right now, Father God. He is like really, oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. It says movement choices and decisions. Mm-hmm. Blocking that temptation. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Balance. You don't block that balance. You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to overcome mental conflict because that's the only thing that's blocking that movement and then the choices and decision making. Accelerated motion. Come on now. I told you y'all going. And y'all energy is flowing. I told y'all. I told y'all. Listen, Taurus knows what the deal is. They know what they know what's going on. They know what's in the way. And they singing, get out the way, get out the way, come on, get out the way, come on, and oh, get out the way. All right, listen, <laughs> Spirit said, listen, Taurus knows that their movement and choices and decisions in the past were being, you know, affected by something that was a temptation, something that... They found bound and tied to as much as they wanted to kind of let it go. They would get like two steps ahead and, and, it, and it would drag them four steps backwards. You know what I'm saying? And it was just such an uphill battle with the situation. But Taurus knows now that this temptation, this thing that they were just like, it's almost like an addiction. You know, um, love can be an addiction sometimes. You know, um, being loyal and dedicated uh, can be an addiction sometimes. You know, because sometimes if we know it was something that is really not for our better good, but it's just, you know... Uh, like you ever meet somebody and it was so good in the beginning, but then things just change and it feels like you keep fighting because you know it was good at one time. That's like someone taking their first hit of like some crack or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they chasing that high. And I feel like that's kind of like what Taurus was doing for a long time, chasing a high of what things used to be. And that's what was, you know, impairing their decision and their choice making you know they weren't balanced and it was blocking their movement and Taurus already knows they already see that shit they see that shit and they say uh-uh I'm balanced now I see that exactly for what the hell it is and I done got myself all the way balanced you see they got that aura around them you see that big old circle that light that glow around them honey that's protection okay <laughs> that is divine protection and they said oh no 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 mm-mm Taurus done had a real strong, heavy talk with the divine. They don't talk to God, whoever they pray to spiritually. Listen. And they say, listen, mm -mm. I'm releasing this. This don't have no place in my life no more. Mm -mm. I had enough. I've had enough. I'm ready to grow. And I'm ready to like move forward victoriously. And just <laughs> everything... 
that I've been talking to you God, um, God about in, in regards to my hopes and my dreams. Just ble please protect me and keep me balanced because I'm moving ahead and I'm walking far, far, and I'm moving far, far away from anything that's ever tried to hold me back and impair my decisions because can't nobody, you know, have that power unless I give them that power. And that's why Taurus got that aura of protection, that ring of protection around them, mind, body, soul, and spirit, honey. Do you understand? <laughs> they say, Father, I got, I got it. I got it. I got it now. Staying positive. The worst is behind you. I told you. That shit. Listen. That shit is behind you. Okay. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Can't see it. Behind you. Gone. You see what I'm saying? That shit is gone. That shit is gone. Because you know what? At the end of the day. It ain't nothing to even be about uh, a mental conflict about anymore because you have balance. And, you know, going through this mental balance honestly kicked open your um, intuition. It kicked open your intuition. Um, it, it put you in a place where you were a, a little bit sensitive, you know, where you were a little bit sensitive because that's that duality trying to, you know, kind of look at. The good and the bad and, and, and kind of being in a crossroads. You see what I'm saying? But being in that crossroad, having that mental conflict, it kicked open your intuition. And like I said, now that you have that balance in that aura of protection and, you know, going into these thoughts and things like that, your intuition has kicked in and it's helped you kind of be like a problem solver in regards to these mental conflicts, you know, and regardless, no matter, and, and, and also, also, this is kind of about that throat chakra as well. This is someone not scared anymore when they come to a point where they feel like it's some conflict or some drama, something stress in their mind, they're like, listen, to, this is about my balance, my intuition. If I'm feeling sensitive, if it's anything that kicks in my, my sensitivity levels and I'm feeling like that, then that's my intuition telling me it's something ain't going on right. And fuck being a bitch about it. I'm speaking up. I'm speaking up. So I don't know if there's someone dealing with some mental conflict regarding a Taurus. Because I'm feeling like this person right here, this might be someone that's dealing with something with an aggressive Taurus and maybe in the past like they were dealing with mental conflict about this situation because they really loved this person and they weren't able to speak up and now they're like nah fuck that shit um I'm speaking up about however I feel to you know this situation with you was a temptation I was I love you and I was addicted to chasing that love but it it was you know <laughs> affecting my choices and decision making Regardless if you like it or not, I'm balanced enough now to tell you, you know, there will be no more conflicts in my decision making. Um, to, I have hope in regards to the future and uh, I have accelerated movement. OK, so you can watch me like a shooting star. Phew, bitch, I'm out of here. OK, I'm out of here because. Listen, I got my energy flowing back. I got my energy flowing in the way that it needs to go. You get me? My third eye has been open, honey. All right. My uh, communication levels, me being able to speak my mind's eye, me being able to see what the fuck is going on. You get me? Sometimes we could be blinded by love, but we could be blinded by our goddamn desires. I.E. Okay. We could be blinded by our desires. Everything that feel good don't necessarily mean that it's good for you. And if anything that's getting in the way, blocking your movement, all right, your root chakra, blocking your movement, impairing your decision and choice making skills. Oh, no, that's that's something that no, mm -mm. I might need to recalibrate my my shit. OK, what the ain't hey, hey, that what you got to do on your on your device? You got to recalibrate your shit to make sure everything balanced. Yeah, uh huh. I had to re. Calibrate my goddamn chakras, bitch. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and now I'm scented. My solar plexus is scented. I know exactly what I do and what I'm going to do and where I'm going. And I got hope and all that positive energy and all that beautiful goddamn shit. All them good chakra vibes is rolling all up through my belly, all up and through my body and all up through up and everywhere, honey. And I got hope and I'm moving forward, honey. Yes, indeed. Accelerated movement. Okay. Huh. That's that third eye. That's that no one. That's that taking authority. That's that number eight. That's taking authority. Like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm taking authority in my life no more. Ain't nothing going to um, get in my way and block my movement and going to tempt me anywhere. Anywhere. Not going to tempt me anywhere. I'm balanced. Mind, body, and soul. You know? And if there's any type of mental conflict going on, I ain't scared to speak up on that shit no more. Okay? So this could be Taurus that is getting into this mode right now. Or this could be someone that is dealing with an uh, an aggressive Taurus. Because I feel like if it's someone that was dealing with the Taurus, it could have been an aggressive energy that they felt, you know, controlled by. And weren't able to... What is this? The star in reverse. Yeah. This person was in a place where they wasn't able to see their worth they wasn't able to see who they who they who they truly are on the inside in the six of cups they were looking for someone to give them love they were looking for someone to kind of nurture them i feel like it's something that they didn't receive as a child and they go to double in reverse again was something that they didn't receive as a child and like i said it, it it was i feel like it was a certain level of um attention and he go to balance again five of pentacles yeah i feel like they're they're um the thing the battle here okay with this taurus or this person dealing with the taurus with the star card being um in the reverse i feel like this person looked to other people to elevate them to um Put them on a plateau or put them on a pedestal that they should have been putting themselves on. The star and the upright, they know their worth. They know who they are. They know their desires. They know where they're going. They know what their destiny is. Their faith, their hope, their dreams, everything. Um, and, and they have a certain level of spiritual um, balance and commitment. You know, so they are their own star player. And they know that they're the star. And this energy right here, this is someone that is looking for someone to tell them that they're the star. To show them that they're a star. To show them how to be a star. This is someone that was lacking of the hope. That was lacking of the faith. That was lacking of the positivity. That really wasn't seeing the light. That didn't see that star, that light within them. Because it's within you. Can't nobody show you. How to, how to, you know what I'm saying? How to love yourself and how to be, you know, can't nobody be your other half. You got to be solid. And I don't know who, who started that on my other half. Like, nah, that's not my other half. That's, that's, that's my, that's my partner. That's not my other half. That's my partner. You know, can't nobody be a half of me, you know? And I feel like, and I say that because this is someone that wants people to, how do I say this? This person right here, because of some shit in their childhood, I honestly feel like maybe no one ever really kind of showed them or really kind of gave them that kind of love and affection and things like that. And they go above and beyond and out their way to kind of take care of and look after other people looking for that love and respect back but they don't actually get it you see what i'm saying they always end up putting themselves in predicaments with people that even though they're putting themselves out there to get this love and affection and, and everything and hoping that it's you know reciprocated equally but it's not you know they put themselves out there not knowing their worth and overextending their self to people that don't truly love them. And that eventually ended up taking advantage of them. And that is what Taurus is recognizing. You know, that this was a toxic pattern that they were doing. 
They are their own star player. If you don't know that you're your own star player, if you don't come into a situation dealing with people solid, you're going to put yourself in an arena full of vultures. And that is what Taurus realized. And I really want to say that they probably ended up getting themselves in some relationships with people that wanted them to live in a lifestyle or be in a way that it just wasn't really them, you know? And maybe that Taurus had to kind of bend and fold a little bit, kind of to cater to people, to other people's needs, looking for that other half, you know? Because, yeah, y'all yeah. get what I'm saying? I can see people getting caught up in a lot of, like, uh, affairs. Like, this Two of Cups in reverse, Look, someone needing and wanting, you know, someone to give to them the way that, you know, love in reverse and then the devil, you know, oh, the love in reverse and then, you know, the devil and someone wanting to be loved and, and catered to and, and taken care of like they're giving. That's that's basically telling me that that's somebody that possibly ended up in, in, in a lot of three-way affairs like affairs you know what I'm saying someone that was like possibly giving 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 like I said trying to they were putting themselves in situations where they were being juggled looking for someone to accept them and only them eventually you know and that's left them out in the cold a lot you know that's five of pentacles left them out in the cold and and and, and that's why <laughs> Taurus is that's this this energy right here is what got Taurus to this point where that devil is in the reverse in both of these spreads because Taurus is like I'm not going to keep selling myself short like that you know I know that this me being this and me looking for this love that I didn't get from my home I really do feel like that. I really do feel like that. Or it's just out of that or y'all are just very young. Whoever is watching me is very young. You know, and they still got a lot of growing to do. And they just, you know, they're just going through their stages and phases of, of just growing up and just learning to give to people who are going to give to you. You know, being careful of the energies that you are around and not just accepting anything just because you're putting yourself out there to give and because these people like this they look good they smell good they taste good but they ain't fucking good these are the ones that have rot your teeth have you in there with a whole bunch of silver goddamn crowns in your mouth and shit you understand what i'm saying like it's not good for you it's not going to give to you in the way that you clearly it's not going to give to you in the way that you want it it to give to you you putting yourself out there with people that don't truly love you and that's trying to balance you with other people and only leave you out in the cold, Taurus. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's that's why Taurus realized, you know, like, like God, put this, put this aura around me. I got hope. And I know, you know, that the past, the like the worst is behind me. You know what I'm saying? The worst is behind me. This is was just a stage in my life that I had to overcome. And I know now. I most definitely know now, and I'm wrong now, and I got hope, and I'm staying positive towards the future because I'm aware now of these type of energies and these type of people, and I really want to say that, you know, Taurus is, is learning to grow because who wants to, who want, who wants to be left out on the cold, out on the streets, sitting out there looking like they begging for someone to give them the same type of love and attention that they were giving them? Nah, because this is someone that invested a lot only to get nothing and be put out like they were nothing. <laughs> you know, that's 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 not no. No. Towards wide awake. Like I said, some shit has been illuminated to them. That's something shining on their back. They know very, very much who where they're going in their future. You know. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing now. And that's why I said that sacral chakra um, is illuminated and it's running all through their body, you know? They're balanced. Give me some guidance for Taurus, May and April. Give me guidance for Taurus, May and April. 
It says, whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now isn't the fucking time. Hmm, let's get another. It says, help people give back, do shit for humanity. You are not the center of the fucking universe. I feel like with that being said, I feel maybe that Taurus was possibly about to make a decision that was about to be really selfish and that might have impacted other people around them. Like, I really honestly feel like Taurus was about to make a dumbass decision. And whatever you were thinking about, don't do it. It's time for you to help people and give back and do shit for humanity. Like, it's not about you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do what's best for you and the other people around you. Not just what you want. Like, you're not the center of the universe. Do you get what I'm saying, Taurus? Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm glad that y'all are watching this video. I feel like some of y'all was about to make a bad decision. Okay? And I hope y'all are not tangling around with shit in the past. Because now is not the fucking time. It says get over yourself, pull your shit together, and stop obsessing. This is what is going on behind these cards. Behind your back. You understand? Behind the, you know, behind the scenes. You thought that this shit wasn't going to come out? Oh, this shit was, is, is coming out. Okay? Whatever the fuck you about to do, you better listen. Because I feel like these cars right here just checked the shit out of somebody. Now is not the fucking time. Get over yourself and pull your shit together and stop obsessing. Alright? There's some of you guys that had that hope and you're up here. And then there's some, some of you guys that are needing to get to this hope and you're right here. You're still in the mindset of lack. You're still out here in the cold begging for someone to let you in. You're still entertaining the bullshit, entertaining the devil. Wanting someone to stop balancing the situation and look to you and see that you're the star and choose you. But you don't even see that yourself is a star. Because if you did, you wouldn't be out there begging for someone that don't fucking love you. And someone is tossing you up with someone else. Whoever this is that is allowing this stuff to still going on, it's childish. It's childish. It's like, okay, I'm going to share my lollipop with you. Um, I want you to share share half of your Tootsie Roll. And you done shared your lollipop with that motherfucker. But when it came down for that person to break down on their Tootsie Roll, they dipped off and went and shared that shit with another bitch. And now you sitting there obsessing like, what the fuck is going on with that shit? And God is saying, pull your shit together. Now it's not the fucking time to be worrying about that shit. We staying positive. The worst is behind is this person showed you who the fuck they are good. Leave them behind. That's that devil. That's that toxic ass shit. Leave that shit behind. Look up towards the light. Hope. You hear, you hear, do you hear me? I need y'all to get on this level. Get on my level. Why get on my level? I get on my level. Why get on my get on my get on my level? What? Okay? The tourists that's up here on this front line here, they 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 try and pull y'all up here. So the ones that that that's right here on this front line, they just had to self check you right here. Shout out to my tourists up here on this front line, okay? Big up to y'all, okay? Bro, 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 big up, okay? Tell them get on my level. I need y'all to level up. It's time to level up. Y'all need to wipe this shit. Y'all need to dust y'all dust that shit off, okay? You need to get that center chakra together. This is the, my Taurus is talking to my Tauruses here, you know? They like, look, this is where you need to be. Look, we, we're telling you, we knew that this shit was a motherfucking toxic-ass, bullshit-ass motherfucker that we were dealing with. And we're telling you that this shit was blocking our decisions and our choice-making. And we leveled up and we got ourselves balanced. And we ain't scared to speak to a fuck nigga and tell them, like, look, I ain't dealing with no mental conflicts with you. I'm accelerating forward, bitch. I got myself centered. Hope, get on my level. Okay? <laughs> what? Work, work. Put them in the dirt. What? Taurus ain't playing. I'm trying to tell you. Taurus is not playing. Taurus is not playing around. Taurus has recognized. Taurus has been able to receive. 
Taurus has been able to believe everything that God has been trying to show them. And that's why they moving forward in hope. And they not letting no bullshit. Who, like who? Like, do the fuck, do you know who the fuck I am? Who the fuck gonna be out here begging for something? Get the fuck out of here. Taurus is not going for that shit. They not going for it. They don't woke the fuck up. So thank you. Taurus, tell them thank you. Okay? For treating me this way. Because you woke me up. You woke up the beast. From the east side, okay? Gang bang, 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 bang. It's like, no, I'm playing. Okay? Goddamn, Taurus, east side stepping on this bitch. All right? Spirit, please let these people know um, the person that is dealing with Taurus. A person that has let them out in the cold. This temptation that they're blocking. But I, honestly, I don't feel like Taurus give a fuck about that. These ones up here don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't give a fuck about what that temptation got to say because they, they passed that. So let me see. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to what Taurus has to say to anybody that's worried about them. Because I don't think Taurus worried about a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm trying to tell you, whatever the fuck they was about to do this dumb, they ain't about to do it now. So for anybody that was trying to like entice Taurus into doing some dumb ass shit, trying to pull them back into that state of lack, what do we got to tell them? What does Taurus got to tell these people? This temptation. What it say? I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Taurus, I looked you up online to see what the fuck you been up to. And I can see that you still the negative, toxic, devil-ass motherfucker. You still ain't shit. Because clearly the devil keep coming up in reverse. So whoever this is, this is how Taurus looks at you. They looks at you like you still toxic. I don't know how to feel anymore. <laughs> Boop, I'm reloading. Boop. Okay, I'm reloading. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. I don't know how to feel anymore. <laughs> you ain't changed. Apparently. Apparently. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Toss. Toss. My heart is telling me just do it. Your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time. Mm. So that's, that's, that's the ones. That's them ones that, um, okay. So that's this group number one, and this is group number two. Mm-hmm. So this is the ones that ain't giving a fuck. You see what I'm saying? That they look this person up online, and they seen what the fuck this person was up to, and they don't even know what the fuck to think anymore. And that's why they like, um, acceleration balance mode kicked in, moving forward, because this nigga is still on some fuck ass shit, and whatever's going on with this person, whoever he's with, I'm just glad it ain't me. <laughs> the worst is behind me. Thank you, God, for spurring me. Amen. Okay, spur fingers. Spur fingers. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. That's group number one. That's, uh, line number one. That's the front line. Those my front line hitters. Boop, we reloaded. Now, these other ones here. My heart is telling me to just do it. Because I told y'all, I was somebody that's obsessing. That ain't trying to pull their shit together. You know? And they about to do some dumb shit. Whatever you were thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the time. So you, you, yeah you, you, come in, come in, come in. Come on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm, we about to get some straightening together. All my Tauruses, that's on the that's on the front line. We about listen. We about to give them some tough, some tough loving love, loving love, love, love. We're gonna give them some toughing love, 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 love. Okay, we ain't gonna be mean, but we gonna keep it one hundred with you, cause we don't want you to go out there getting hurt. We need you to get on that level. What get on that level? What get on? Okay, bitch. My heart is telling me to just do it. Your intensity frightens me and allures me at the same time. And I told y'all it is some Tauruses because from back in 2018, it's been some Tauruses that's been dealing with someone that is fucking abusive. Y'all know good and goddamn well that this person, not only do this person 
dog the fuck out of you, but they be dog walking your motherfucking face too. Your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time. Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself? You want somebody to be putting roses on your fucking casket or something? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Because I'm not here to play with you. I'm not here to play with you. And I'm telling you this because I love you. And I talk to a lot of you guys in these comments. I know exactly what the fuck be going on. And I've been doing this and I read for a lot of people. A lot of you Tauruses have been going through abusive relationships. And it ain't just the Taurus women. It's some Taurus men too that have been going through some abusive. These bitches are fucking crazy. They alcoholics and they get a fucking attitude. They ain't got no problem with like throwing shit at you. Trying to hit you and shit. Y'all need to get the fuck away from that shit. Love yourself. There's devil energy all on this table here. That's why y'all keep being a lord and pull back. That's who y'all want to play with. That's who you want to have controlling your energy and controlling your life. Y'all go ahead. I'm not going to be at your funeral. Because I'm not, I'm not even about to do this. I'm not about to do this with y'all. Oh, cause now I'm getting angry and I'm not, I'm about to go back over here. Nah, I'm about to, I'm about to hang with y'all and get y'all to fuck one out the way. Do we going to go back over here into the light? Cause I don't got no time. I don't like playing in this dark shit. I really don't. I really the fuck don't. I really don't. Cause now I'm feeling sick to my stomach and I feel myself getting angry and I'm not about to do this. Cause we was happy. Wasn't we happy? We was happy, right Taurus? We staying in hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look into the light. Why y'all like playing with darkness? I'm just going to let y'all be silent for a second and think about what I just said there. Four swords. You need to retreat. You need to soak in some spiritual waters. You need to stop listening to whatever the fuck is going on in your head. You need to retreat and get your thoughts together. Because you're playing with fucking fire. Do you hear me? Retreat. I repeat. Retreat and focus on yourself. And finish working on yourself. And get your fucking mind and your thoughts together. Okay? Cause you about to do something really fucking stupid. And that's all I got to say to you. That's all I got to say to you. Okay? Alright. Alright. Cause you got one fucking shoe on. And one shoe off. Take your shoes off. Both of them bitch. And put your whole fucking body. Submerge your whole body in them spiritual waters. And cleanse yourself of this toxic. Evil. Devilish. Addictive. Bull. Fucking. Shit. And I'm done. I'm sorry. I need to burn some sage or something. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I need me some Palo Alto. I need something. No, because y'all not about to do me right now. Mm-mm. If y'all got y'all some sage or some Palo Alto, y'all need to burn something. Because, listen, because I don't like that. Because I done been in that energy too many times with y'all and that shit. And I love y'all too much. And I really do love y'all too much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father God. Please call my energy in your name. Thank you so much. Please protect Thank you so much, Father. Please. Whew. Thank you so much, Father. All right, let's go back to let's go back to my front liners, cause I can't. And I love y'all. I really do love y'all, and I'm praying for y'all. Only thing I can do is pray for you, because everyone around you, no one can help you until you want to help yourself. It don't matter how much we pray. If you don't pray for yourself, if you don't love yourself, and you still want to be tempted by the devil, then he gonna have you. Okay. It's a place for people that want to be had. Okay? <laughs> and if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. And can't nobody stop you. It don't matter how much we pray for you. If you don't love yourself, it is nothing that we can do for you. And like I said, thank you. And I'm moving on because I have calmed down. Thank you, Father. Please give me guidance for my main, my main liners. The Ten of Wands. 
burdens the knight of coins okay ten of wands the knight of coins okay you know what i'm what i'm getting i'm i'm Okay, so my main liners, this is what I'm getting for you. I'm getting for you, I want you to, um, because <laughs> I'm forgetting what you said, that you look the person up online to see what they're doing and you don't know how to feel about them anymore. When I'm getting here about this, this Ten of Wands in reverse, this Knight of Coins, this Magician in reverse, and this Six of Coins, basically what you've seen online and what you feel, you feel like uh, if you was to ever go back to this person, it would be a burden that you would have to carry forever. Number one, this person is never going to actually offer you anything. This person moves slow like a turtle in regards to anything, and, and especially in regards to giving someone something in regards to a coin. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people may very shallow and small movements toward that towards that it feels like financially you will be having to carry shit forever because this this person's whole get up and their whole move is manipulating bitches to come out they come out they they pocket to come out their purse for some coins you know what i'm saying like that's that's their thing they want women to carry the burden of taking care of them financially and I feel like when you were in this situation when you were in this situation with this person carrying this burden um only thing you could smell was the pine off the pine cones and stuff and it smelled good to you and it was the promise that this person was eventually going to be able to be the person that you needed them to be so it was like you were okay you were able to carry you know the burden and everything like that and until shit got rough you know until shit got rough and then you realize, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now you're not in the situation no more. You see this motherfucker. Oh, this motherfucker is the old motherfucker's uh, uh, trickster ass motherfucker. Oh, so this with this nigga, he do smooth pipping on bitches to get them to come out their purse for him. Oh, okay, I see what they do. Yeah, because I kind of felt like I was being manipulated like that back then. Because this person always tried to, he will always give me just enough to make me hold on and still carry this burden. You know what I'm saying? With the promises that he was going to eventually come and give me something or that it was going to be solid. You know? But this motherfucker didn't have no intentions of doing anything. This person just wanted me to keep coming out my motherfucker pocket and trying to swindle me. And I, I, I... And now that I done looked online, I see, oh, hey, this motherfucker got other bitches doing this shit. Like, it's around tax time now, so you done looked online and this nigga flossed up, he with a whole nother bitch, and you looking at these pictures and shit online, and you like, oh, I know this bitch bought all this shit. Oh, trust me, I've been with this motherfucker for the past 10, 12, I done been with this motherfucker for half of my fucking life. I know, because I done carried that burden long and hard, okay? Towards the way my knees and my ankles was weak as a motherfucker, bitch. I done finally, I done went and got me some goddamn, uh, 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 relaxation, meditations and shit. I done got my, all my socks, my chakras and shit, all recentered and shit. I'm back to, I'm good now. And he got up, bitches doing this shit? Shit me. Oh, she must don't know. Um, it seemed nice, but that motherfucker don't got no intentions of doing nothing for you. This motherfucker is a con artist, okay? Bitch, you about to be coming out your pockets with all that tax money, bitch. You stupid. <laughs> That's how Taurus feel. Like Taurus is like, uh, uh. I've I've looked you up online, cause I think Taurus was just curious because they are in a totally different space. For some reason, they just was like, ah, what the fuck? Let me see what this motherfucker doing. This stupid ass motherfucker. And they looked them up online and they seen that this motherfucker is up. Same shit, different toilet. And they said, huh, thank you, God, for sparing me. Thank you for allowing me to not be right here and turn around here. Okay. Oh, honey, I know my worth, and I got faith, and I got hope, and everything that I put out in the universe is coming back to me. You don't got to worry, Father. I'm just moving forward. I ain't even... <laughs> I'm laughing. Mm-mm. 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 Thank you.
thank you, Father, because all my coins is going in my purse. I ain't taking care of no motherfucking body. Fuck you. <laughs> Come the fuck on, Taurus. Taurus said, I'm not taking care of no motherfucking body. Y'all dumb bitches. Y'all can have that shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm staying positive. <laughs> I'm staying positive. The worst is behind me. I'm moving towards the light fall. But thank you. Okay. I'm reloading. Boo. Okay. I am reloading. What? <laughs> Goddamn Taurus got the gat loaded. Anybody in the way with the fuck shit? Bam. What? How you like me now? Okay. Please get out my way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Taurus, hey, get out the way. <laughs> bitch, we re fucking loading around this bitch. Okay? We re loading. Whoever ain't on this, whoever ain't on this, need to level the fuck up. Because we, when I'm in this, okay, y'all see how my energy's changed. You understand what I'm saying? Understand that this is energy work. Okay? I am happy. I am cheerful. I am motivated. I, it's like, honey, seriously, get out the way. That is how, listen, don't go there. Please. Y'all need to level the fuck up. Taurus, look, tell them to level the fuck up, Taurus. Fear. The answer is yes. Che. to love I feel like there's a certain level of fear in regards to this relationship in the past whoever this person that you're looking back observing okay and the answer is yes whatever it is that you're fearing the answer is yes and I really do feel like your fear is that if you go back to this person that this person hasn't changed and you know like you know and if you look at this in the back, if you look at this in the back, I really do feel like your fear is like that this person won't let you go. That this person won't let you go. And the thing is, is that I'm trying to tell you is, yes, this person can try to intimidate you with fear. OK, but at the end of the day, like I told you, baby, you're balanced and you're protected. This person going to play around with this person. Listen, this person playing around with the right one. Touch not God's anointing. Touch not God's anointing. Do you get me? You don't walk forward and worry about nobody doing nothing. The answer is yes, baby, that you are protected. And anything that anybody can even think about trying to do, honey, it's going to come back ten times fold down their generation, something that they ain't never fucking seen before. Touch not God's anointing. Don't you be in fear. Just know, yes, that you are protected. All right? You are protected. You are protected. Listen, you have, you are literally the magician. You have every single resource that you need to manifest anything in the world that you want. An array of protection around you, baby. Please know that. Please know that. You have every weapon that you need spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. Just like literally, you are just grounded and balanced in a way that can't nobody touch you. Can't nobody touch you. And God see y'all. If anybody's trying to intimidate you, trying to like, you know, because I feel to some extent that there's somebody, and I, I'm not I'm not saying that they're doing anything physically to put someone in fear. I feel like there's someone, because as you can see, this girl right here, you see how she got headphones on? She's just like trying to block out what someone is saying. I feel like there's a lot of mental abuse. It's a lot of mental and emotional abuse. You see what I'm saying? It's like where this person has put a lot of poison in their brain, whereas though that they fear that if they move on, that they won't be happy. And the answer is yes, is if you feel if you feed into that fear. 
The answer is yes if you feed it to that fear. You know? But if there's something that you know is going on and that this person is trying to keep you in fear, then yes, just know that, that that's what this person is trying to do and God got you. God got you. Don't let nobody... You were at a crossroads for a long time in this situation and you were trying to figure out where to go if you should go. You understand? You ain't in the crossroads no more. You ain't in no crossroads no more. You know which direction. Shit ain't all upside down, toxic turvy. You know what to do and what's the, what, what to go on. So the answer is yes. This person was trying to keep you in fear so that you would not be able to move forward and be unbalanced and, you know, be at a crossroads in your life where you were too scared to move forward. The answer is yes. That's what that person was doing. All right. That's what that person was doing. All right. I feel like this person watches you just like you watch them and continue to put your barrier up to block them so that they can't have their eyes on you no more. Okay. Put that barrier up so this person can't have their eyes on you no more. Because what I think that this person does is this person watches you and they see that you're happy, right? So they go post things online because they know that you're watching them as well. But these ones over here, we're watching and you think that we're going to get jealous like this one over here and let it be stressing us the fuck out, okay? And confusing us and making us think that maybe we want to go back to some shit that we got one foot in and one foot out. Nah, see, we not like that. We not like that. See, only thing that we going to do, we look and we seen the shit that you try to make us jealous about. Because you thought that we was going to obsess about this shit and make a dumbass decision like these ones over here. No, 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 no. Only thing we did is laugh at you. See how stupid the bitch or the dude is that you fucking with right now and how much they coming out of their pockets. Thanking God that it ain't us, okay? And we blocked you. Because we don't even want to see this shit no more, okay? Because even though we laughed at it, this shit really ain't funny. And we had to really sit down and kneel and say a prayer for whoever that dumb bitch is or whoever that dumb man is. Because they stupid and they have no idea how abusive and controlling your motherfucking ass is. And I had to say a silent prayer for this person, okay? And I don't want to look at you and I damn sure don't want you looking at me no more. Blocked. The answer is yes. So if you want to know why you was blocked by Taurus, that's why. Because Taurus knows what the fuck you doing. You posting dumb ass shit trying to make a motherfucker jealous and you ain't made a motherfucker jealous at all. Okay? Okay? Okay. Alright? This person is in fear. Okay? That Taurus is the fuck over them. All right. This person is in fear. You see them grabbing at that window like, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Are you not thinking about me? Yes, we're not thinking about you. Yes, we're not thinking about you. OK, <laughs> we done jumped over this crossroad, honey. We don't move the fuck on. Only thing you doing is sitting up there observing because we don't put this barrier up and shit. And you can you blocked. And now you double blocked. Block, block, biggity blocks. Bloop. We reloaded. OK, don't make us pull out the gap. OK. We ain't got time for this shit. You don't, you can't put us in no fear no more. You see this car? Taurus is so far away, you can't even touch us. You trying to act and, 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 and intimidate someone like a phantom ghost or some shit. Bitch, we ain't scared of you no more. Get the fuck on somewhere and go and get them coins from that other bitch. Go get the coins from them other bitches. We don't give a fuck. Okay? What you need to do is stop obsessing over Taurus and get the fuck. Fuck over yourself, because now is not the time for you to come over here and get your life fucked up. Okay, go on about your business, bitch. Please go on about your business, bitch. With your devil toxic ass. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Didn't Taurus tell you that from the front? Okay. Didn't we tell you that from the front? Now we telling you from the back. Because guess what? Even though these ones ain't motherfucking thinking right, we got they back. Fuck that. We, we told you that from the front. Now we telling you this from the back. Bitch, back up. Back up. Because we ain't even going to allow you to even... We ain't about to allow you to do that. Back up. Bitch. Fuck you mean. Balance this shit over here. Which sword you want to choose? Which weapon you want to choose so we can come and get your ass together with? Fuck out of here. Bitch. Better get the fuck on. Better get the fuck on. And I really do feel like there's somebody that has possibly gotten to... They were in a very abusive relationship with somebody. And they not scared no more. They not motherfucking scared no more. And if you want to come get popped, nigga, get dropped. Nigga, 
You don't fit. I'm not in fear no more. Okay? Hello, how you doing? The answer is yes. If you want to come over here and get your ass popped, go ahead because I got my shit registered and all this all shit with all this abuse and all this shit has been documented. So if I fucking come over here and put one right between your motherfucking eyes, bitch, just know, yes, I'm getting the fuck off, bitch. Because all this shit, people know about this shit. So come the fuck on over here and get your ass rocked, nigga. Fuck you mean. Straight like that. Now is not the time. Okay? Fuck you mean. You better get your, you better get over yourself <laughs> and stop obsessing over Taurus. Stop looking at what Taurus is doing. Stop trying to be petty and post shit thinking that you making us jealous. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. There's a barrier. There's a barrier of protection. God got us protected, boo. We don't give a fuck and we blocking you. Fuck you mean. We don't even want you looking at us no more. You get it? You get it? Ain't no crossroads no more, bitch. Nigga, you gonna have somebody sing and see you at the crossroads, keep fucking playing around. Like, for real, on everything, and I'm not trying to be no type of way. That's how Taurus feel. That, that, like, I, like, I'm dead. I'm dead ass serious. Because someone was abusing my fucking Taurus. And Taurus not playing around no more. And they not going for that shit. And this shit right here, why the fuck is you looking at me? Why the fuck is you looking at me? The fuck out of here. I felt like you was looking at me. I placed a barrier over you. I uh, Look, I feel like someone got a, a, a protection order or something. There's a protection order. And I feel like even though that there's a protection order, this person is like doing shit online because they can't, like they can't touch you. You see what I'm saying? They can't touch you. So they're doing shit online. That's okay because I can do, I can do, um, there's internet stalking or shit too. So if you want to get another charge, go ahead. But you know what to just, I'm just going to block you. So the answer is yes, I'm just going to block you. If you want to know why you got blocked, that's why you got blocked. Because you don't want to get popped. Because I'm just going to call the police and they're going to pop you right in your motherfucking head. That's all. Because you crazy. And I'm crazy too. Mm-hmm. I'm crazy, but I got the law on my side and I got God on my side. So go ahead. You better go somewhere and go relax your puss. Okay? And get your mind together. Okay? Stop looking at me. With your looking ass. Okay? Please give these people some last words of wisdom because listen, to, listen, and what I'm trying to tell you, all that, all that, all that gangster like that, that don't come from somebody that, that ain't, that don't got no hope, that don't, that ain't staying positive, that don't know that the worst is behind them and they looking up. That's somebody that's in hope that no, God got me. You don't intimidate me. You don't scare me no more. I got power. I will block you and block you and block you. If you want to act stupid, I just call the police. Come pop your ass. Or I'll pop your ass. And that shit'll be fucking warranted. Bitch. Six of Wands. Ain't gonna be no victory. Okay? Taurus ain't giving you no attention. Taurus ain't paying this person no attention. None. 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 You get me? None. None. I feel like this person is thinking about Taurus's sex and everything like that. And they want to come back and they thinking about a whole bunch of shit. And that's probably what this person is coming back to looking for some type of acknowledgement and attention from Taurus. They want to be celebrated. Fuck you. You know, you definitely ain't. But they think they about to come back and fill on some booty? Are they fucking serious? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-mm. You better know you weren't going to be as successful in that attempt. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ain't going to be no new beginning, pimping. None. Okay? So please stop looking back at the ch at the past. Please stop looking back at the past, reminiscing, feeling all bad about what the fuck happened between me and you. I don't want to hear about that shit. Don't call me about that shit. Don't talk to my friends. Don't talk to my family about that shit. I don't give a fuck. Stop thinking about me. Stop looking at me. Just fucking stop. Okay? What is this? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I ain't waiting on you. Okay? I tried to wait on you before. I tried to, you know, put the work in and be patient and shit. For what? For what? For some for, for, for some overgrown fucking spoiled ass cabbage? Bitch, you know how much of old ass fucking spoiled head of cabbage fucking smell? Nigga, that's what you smell like. Some fu a fucking nasty ass rancid ass fucking head of cabbage. Oh, fucking. Ugh. 
fix it shut. Five of cups. Six of cups. Say this is the fuck out. Stop. Look, listen. <laughs> if you do not get the fuck out of here, if you do not get all the way the fuck out of here, please, please stop thinking about me. Like for real. Stop. Stop. Whoever this is, whoever this. Oh, this is going this way. So that must be y'all. That must be y'all. But at the end of the day, listen, this is what this person is doing. This is how this person is coming to you. Like, oh, you know, they're looking to be celebrated. They're looking to be acknowledged. They want attention from you now. But ain't going to be no new beginnings. So stop thinking about me. Stop worrying about me. I'm not waiting on you. Stop. Fuck out of here. This observer. That's the, that, that's the, like, get the fuck out of here. You coming at me with that bullshit. Give me this. Give, what, what, what's going on with my main liners? Ace of Swords, okay? Ace of Swords. They already have clarity and truth. They already know. They already know. They know how to cut a motherfucker out, okay? They ain't in control of they shit. You see her on top of the dick? Get, get, get on the dick. Get, 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 get on the dick. Mug on the dick. Mug, mug. Bitch, what? Come on. Come on. Y'all must don't know what's going on. Y'all better stop playing. Look, look. That Empress in reverse. Empress in reverse. Um, Taurus has said it's time for a makeover. It's the takeover. Okay? That's what Taurus said. Taurus said, listen, uh-uh. I'm in control now. It's time for a makeover. It is the takeover. Okay? That shit that I had, I was dealing with before. That shit had me looking bad. I wasn't able to create. I wasn't able to, like, truly be the beautiful fucking Empress that I motherfucking am. You understand? It's a makeover. It's time for the takeover, bitch. It's a makeover. It's time for the takeover. Time for a motherfucking takeover. All right? This motherfucker, what is this? The King of Wands in reverse? I don't want no more King of Wands. And you know what? If I stay in, and, and that's the thing. That's what Taurus realizes. If I stay in this energy, in this place of lack, going around begging and be with bitch ass niggas. Look, these are just niggas that just want to come around for sex, little whore ass fucking neighborhood dick ass niggas. If I don't get myself together, if I don't change myself, if I don't make myself over, I'm going to keep attracting those motherfuckers. And that's not what the fuck I want. Okay. And um, that's why look at her in control of her shit. What? What? In control of her shit. She going for what the fuck she want. She know exactly what the fuck she want. Okay? So she's in search for new beginnings with a clear, sane mind. On time. Alright? All of this had to do with divine timing. All of this shit was a motherfucking lesson. And she came out on fucking top, bitch. What we say? We the motherfucking mainliners, okay? Mainliners. What? Fuck out of here. We gone. Okay? And we ending it off like that with my motherfucking mainliners. With my headers. With my fucking headers. What? 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 Now, let me see what's going on in the shadows real quick. But see, I don't feel like clarifying no shadow shit because I don't want this shit to get... Uh, fuck, why'd I pick this shit up? Fuck, why the hell did I do this? So, let's... First on, let's go on with our main liners. Let's start with our main liners. Is there anything going on in the shadow with our main liners that they need to know going ahead? You know? Going ahead. Anything that they need to be prepared about. Anything that they need to be prepared about, Father. Anything going on? Okay. Shocking. Something shocking is going to happen. What? It's going to be some shocking, uh, unstable word vomit coming to you. So, just know, just be prepared for some shocking, unstable fucking creature to come to you spitting word vomit. Just emotional fucking bullshit this, at the end of this month. And you're going to be shocked because you're going to be like, I know you is not coming back to me sounding all fucking hurt. And <laughs> I know you is not coming. I thought you ain't had no soul. Oh, you have emotions? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I don't care, though. Oh, okay. Please don't call me no more. Ever again. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. What we doing? Cowardly excuses. 
in doubt. Okay. All right, this is what I just got. And it was very clear in my head. Spirit said, listen, stop acting so fucking cowardly and, and, and accepting motherfuckers' excuses when you know good or goddamn what it is, a lot of doubt that you, you don't believe in what the fuck they're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Stand up for yourself. You don't believe this motherfucker's goddamn excuses for what they're saying. There's big doubt in that shit. You know that this motherfucker ain't changed. You know if you deal with him, you're going to be sucked right back into that same fucking toxic ass goddamn cycle with the same old fucking bullshit. Stop being a fucking coward and being scared of change. And some people are scared of actually being happy. That's y'all. Y'all scared of fucking being happy. And y'all rather just sit there and be a fucking coward and be weak and easily be sucked back into some negative, toxic, abusive ass shit instead of just being by yourself and being alone for a little bit, getting your fucking self together so you can attract the right type of people. These ones over here no good and goddamn well that they don't want no fucking hoe ass goddamn neighborhood dick ass nigga or no hoe ass bitch, no abusive ass bitch, no unstable ass fucking bitch, no unstable ass fucking dude. Come on. Come on. I'm not doing it. I the fuck will not. Ace of Wands. If you want a new goddamn beginning, because that's what you truly want. You got to stop being goddamn allured by people's sex. I feel like a lot of this shit is about the fucking wand. It's about sex. It's because I have a lot of... Like, this person can control you by sex. And if you want... A new beginning, truly, you need to motherfucking learn how to control yourself and, and grow some balls and stop acting like a fucking coward and stop being weak and stop just accepting bullshit just because you're used to it. If you want the worst to be over, you have to look up to the light and stay positive and have hope in your future if you want a new direction, okay? What is this? The Ace of Swords. Stop fucking accepting people's non-truth and bullshit. Do you understand? You have to search for that inner truth within yourself and know that you're better than that. Okay? Stop accepting people's lies, fairy tales. People just tell you any motherfucking thing so you can sleep at nights, ass type nigga. Okay? Stop being that. Just accepting any motherfucking thing a nigga gotta say so you can sleep at night, ass type nigga. Stop it. I'm gone. I love y'all. I ain't mean to rock on y'all shit like that, but somebody, somebody needed to be rocked on. If you ain't a mainliner, you needed to have your shit rocked because you need to level up. Am I saying something wrong, y'all? I told y'all all jump. It was going to be some tough love, love, love lovey, love, 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 love. But I love you. But I'm not about to sit here and pussyfoot around shit with you and act like, nah, that's not a true friend. That's not somebody that love you. And I don't know how nobody else talk to you, but that's how motherfuckers talk to me growing up. We don't go for this fuck shit. Wake the fuck up. Ain't nobody trying to be putting no motherfucking roses on your goddamn grave and shit. Because you sitting over here, my heart is telling me to just do it. Your intensity frightens me, but allures me at the same time. You sound stupid. Fuck out of here. I'm gone. Listen, if this resonates, if y'all need help... Click the about tab. Follow the instructions. If you want to leave a love donation, do it. Um, information is in. I'm sorry that my attitude because I went back here. I went back here, y'all. Y'all see how my energy just changed. If there's somebody that y'all know that needs to see this fucking video, forward it to them. Because there's someone that needs to see this video. I need y'all to be hopeful that there's a better future and stop being scared. Like, there's still y'all, like, these ones over here are scared of being happy and that there's actually a better life outside of this. They're just so used to this abuse and this toxic bullshit. They just rather be a fucking coward. Be a fucking coward and just lay down and accept it. Not my motherfuckers over here. Mm-mm. They're shocked that this bitch ass motherfucker here. You bitch ass motherfucker, you. You bitch ass motherfucker, you. You had the audacity to come back. Oh, I thought you wanted to be out in the streets. Oh, you unstable, emotional, ain't shit ass creature. They need to put you in a museum. You're very interesting. They need to study motherfuckers like you. Get the fuck off my phone.